ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Tiger News Network, episode number 12. I'm Neil here. This week we're joined with Dalton Jackson and special guest sports anchor, Mrs. Blevins. Now let's hop right into some Glenwood, Oak, and Stanton news. This is a reminder that, and of course, exams are coming up for semester classes. Be sure to ask your teachers for your testing dates. On Wednesday, December 7th, there will be a bus evacuation drill. On Monday, December 12th, the Bookmobile will also be visiting. Now, on to sports with Ms. Blevins. Ms. Blevins, take it away. Hey there. Now let's learn about what's going on in sports here at New Boston. Well, on Saturday, December the 3rd, the girls and the boys varsity basketball teams are going to play right here at home versus Ohio Valley Christian. Now that game, what time is it going to start? 4.30. 4.30. Love how they listen. 4.30. The boys will play after the girls, but you need to get here and get a good seat. Uh, the girls' varsity team, they have another game on December the 5th at Sims Valley. That's an awful ride out there to Sims Valley, out through the cow pastures, but come on out and root for them. And then on December 8th, they have a home game against Western. Always a good one. Always lots of cat fights playing Western. Let's talk about the boys' basketball team. Yeah, they have a game on December the 6th at East. That's always a rowdy fun time. Someone's going to get kicked out. We don't know who. Everybody start placing your bets now. Get there early. There's only about seven or eight seats available there at that facility. And then they play at home versus Clay on December the 9th. I heard that one's going to be a bloodbath. So all those games start at 6 p.m. So on three, go Tigers. One, two, three. Go Tigers! Now onto some entertainment news. A Mummy Legacy sequel could not only reunite Brendan Fraser and Dwayne Johnson on screen, but can also redeem the anti-hero Scorpion King. This sequel has no official release date and there is no other information released yet. You're going to go see that movie, don't I don't think so. I, I, I've I, never even seen any of the, the classic, movies. The classic ones are good. Okay. After the Tom Cruise one, I don't want to watch anymore. Uh, I'll have to watch them. Now for some news around our area. The Village of New Boston is holding a Christmas at the park on December 3rd. It will be from 4 to 7 p.m. There will be a tree lighting ceremony and a life-size snow globe for pictures. They will be giving out free hot chocolate and will be having music. Now, back to Dalton. Don't want to interrupt your regular scheduled programming for some breaking news. Tomorrow on December 2nd, we will not be in class. It will be a virtual learning day due to all the sicknesses going around. Stay safe, everybody. And now back to our regular scheduled programming. Thank you. It was crowned Emperor of France by Pope Pius VII in Paris. And then on to some science news. If you think of Transylvania, you might think of a place populated by vampires and werewolves. Now you can add dwarf dinosaurs to that list. A group of researchers recently identified a new species of dinosaur from the region, dubbing it Transylvanosaurus platycephalus, or flat-headed reptile from Transylvania. Now back to Dylan with the human interest story. Thanks, Dalton. Recently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is making up for his past mistakes. The Black Adam action star over the weekend shared a video on social media documenting a recent visit to a 7-Eleven in Hawaii in which he bought out the store supply of Snickers bars and left them for any hungry customers to take for free. It wasn't just a generous move, but one Dwayne Johnson, age 50, was doing it as an act of redemption. As the Ohu native explained, 36 years earlier, when he was just 14 years old, he used to go to that very same 7-Eleven and steal himself a king-size Snickers on his way to the gym because he couldn't afford to buy one. He said, quote, I was broke, he explained in his Instagram post of his pre-workout snack, recalling that, quote, the same clerk was there every day and always just turned her head and never busted me. Back to Dalton with some weather. <laughs> Buckle up for this crazy Ohio weather coming up this week. Saturday through Wednesday, there are some possible rain showers. In the beginning of the week, the temperature will be in the 50s, and at the end of the week, it will start to get chilly and drop to the 40s. And then it will get as low as the 30s. Thanks, Dalton. Before we go, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a brain teaser as usual for you guys. This belongs to you, but everyone else uses it. What is it? First five people to give the correct answer to Ms. Claxon will receive a Tiger card. Hey, Thank I bet I know what the answer is. I bet you do too. You probably wrote it, dude. You know what I mean? I didn't write it. You didn't write it? Oh. I'll, I'll just say yes. I bet it's your dignity. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Thank you for tuning in to Tiger News Network, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to tune in next week for more news around our school. And remember, folks, don't just have a good weekend. Have a great weekend. Stay classy, Tigers.